Hi, my name is Andy Colbert and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy To Go, a short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video you and we really hope to see you soon. Hello and thank you for watching the Riedel Director how-to video series. In this video we are going to cover configuring your Bolero Bell Packs and Director. Bolero is the world's most powerful intercom system and you can integrate up to 250 Bell Packs with your Artist Matrix system. In this video we'll only cover the Director programming portion of Bolero and the specific information you need to have in your configuration file for a successful integration with Bolero. Stay tuned for a future series on Bolero configuration in the web GUI. We'll start from scratch in this video from adding Bolero belt packs to ports and we'll look at some of the key things you'll need to remember when integrating your Bolero belt packs. First, Bolero belt packs can only be added to AES67 cards as the audio path to and from Bolero is AES67 based and part of the SMPD 2110-30 protocol. I'll navigate to the card layout page and select some unused slots in the AES67 card to assign as Bolero belt packs. You can find the Bolero wireless belt pack under the miscellaneous tab. Once you select it, it will appear first in your selection window. If we double click on a Bolero wireless belt pack, we can see it is essentially a six key wireless panel, and we can program functions the same way we program them on a panel. We still have virtual function options as well. If we right click and select add function, we can see the different functions we are able to add to a Bolero belt pack. Let's go ahead and program some keys. We're gonna add a conference by going to the groups and conference tabs and drag and dropping our production conference. And we'll go ahead and add a point to point from our audio engineer, Jonathan, back to this Bolero belt pack. We now need to edit some properties specific to the Bolero belt pack by right clicking on the belt pack and selecting properties. If you are familiar with the properties tab, you'll notice there is a new tab specific for Bolero appropriately named Bolero. In this tab, we have to assign the Bolero user ID. This ID creates the connection between our director configuration and the belt pack, allowing the belt pack to receive information from the matrix including key commands and other settings. We also need to assign a multicast IP address, which will handle the audio routing of the AES67 audio stream. It is worth noting in Director that it says the range can be 244.0.2.0 through 239.255.255.255. In the Riedel Network Installation Guide, we recommend starting at 239.255.0.1. The reason is there are multicast IPs in certain ranges that will be used for antennas, firmware updates, PTP timing, and network discovery. Starting at 239.255.0.1 ensures that you will avoid any multicast conflicts in your AES67 audio transport. You can find more information about this in the Riedel Network Installation Guide, which you can download from your MyRiedel account from Riedel.net. As a best practice, I use the following multicast IP address guideline. 239.255. whatever the node ID of the artist frame I'm configuring. Dot the Bolero user ID, which is 1. To review, it's 239.255. node ID. Dot Bolero user ID. Once you have assigned multicast IPs and Bolero user IDs to all of your Bolero belt packs and assigned your desired key functions and director, you are ready to create a Bolero net in the web GUI and finalize your integration. Stay tuned for more videos on Bolero and remember to save your configuration when you make changes to your system. I hope you're enjoying the Riedel Director how-to video series. Remember to subscribe to Riedel Communications channel to see new content in the future.